Every host needs a theme song. Hey, good evening, everybody out there in Chester County, Coastville, and on my Facebook page. I got to really admit it. This is a Friday night special, and I am so doggone excited. I mean, I'm hyped. And as you can tell by the background, take a look at that little lovely face. Well, I have her and her mother on this evening, and we're going to talk about Coachville's, maybe uh, America's youngest entrepreneur. But wait a minute. Before we get into that, all y'all out there know what you're supposed to do. Get on, get on my website, website, get on this Facebook page and share this video. That way I can make sure I get it so we can say some highs and some hellos so we can meet and greet some people. Now, I'm telling you. Mm. Hey, there's Jeffrey Washington. We got Kathy Smith. Oh, somebody named Roxy the Quilter Curry is on here. And it is so good to see y'all this evening. You know we're going to have some fun, right? Because Brother Files is really, really stupid. And I got a dynamite duo right here. I'm to look, I'm hyped. Look. I seen the videos. I seen the stuff they were doing. I don't want to tell everything in the in advance, but it just made me so excited that I did a Friday night special because you know I don't have shows on Friday. But for these two, I said definitely, Roxy. It is good to see you this evening, Roxy. Not that you're going to learn anything new, but don't you go anywhere. And look, Jeffrey Washington. You know I've been advertising your bowling thing and all that stuff, but I ain't going to give you no time because it's all about this young lady's time right now. And I even gave him your phone number, Jeffrey. But look, if y'all want to do me a favor, hit the share button, man, because it's not about liking this video. It's about sharing this junk. I am so, look, so, hey, look, I got to give all glory and honor to God, man, for allowing me to see another day. His grace and mercy keep following me. I'll be trying to duck it, but it keep following me. And I'll be like, so thankful at the end of the day. So look, with that being said, I want to get right into this evening's festivities. First, I want to, first of all, let's talk to the mother. Hello, mother. Who are you and what your name is? Hello, my name is Olivia and I'm from Coastville, born and raised. That's what I'm talking about now. <laughs> now, I don't want her introducing her daughter. I want her daughter to introduce herself. Hi there, young lady. What's your name? Emaya. Emaya? Yes. You got any, you got any more names? You got a middle name? Yes. What's your middle name? She's cute as two buttons, ain't she? <laughs> we gonna have a, hey, am I? How old are you? Three. Three? Mm -hmm. And you got, are you in school yet? Uh, are you in 10th grade, 11th grade? What grade you in? No. <laughs> she, she's, she's not going to school just yet. Three years old. I, okay. And, and who is this young lady that's right next to you? She's my teacher. Ch huh? Gigi's my teacher. Okay, your teacher. What'd she say, Gigi? Gigi, my mom, her grandmother. Oh, that's right. That's right. That is so exciting. Now, 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 wait a minute. Amaya, I have a granddaughter who likes Coco Melon and Baby Shark. Do you like either one of them? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite? What's your favorite TV show? Mickey Mouse. She, did she say Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse. She loves Mickey Mouse. Wow. Now, my grandbaby likes Minnie, and she likes the girl, Minnie Mouse. Maya Johnson, she has checked in from Parts Unknown, Tara Anderson. I have Coatesville's youngest entrepreneur right here, and she is rocking and rolling. Y'all don't know where she's been because she's been traveling all through the country of the United States of America. We're going to get into that. Now, I want, I want to ask her as many questions as I can because you know, young folks, when you was three years wrestlers, right? And you know, all that kind of stuff. Maya, it's good to see you. Nelson, he said fire, fire, three fires. Okay, let me see. Let me get. Now, wait a minute. Amaya, you have a business, don't you? Happy last, we can hear you. Thank you. You said you have a business, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Can, can you tell me about your business? What do you do? I sell What'd she say? Say louder so I can hear you. I sell lip gloss. You, you sell lip gloss? Yes. <laughs> wow. I, 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 
What'd she say? I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, look, we can take up an offering and, and say the benediction on that one. <laughs> she said she's an entrepreneur. She, you know what? It takes some of us all our life to figure out who we are. Which, and she knows who she is at the age of three. I, I was just looking at my grandbaby. She's two and a half. And I looked at her. I said, well, well, what you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> I was telling her about a mile. I'm like, oh, st stop running around asking for snacks. All right, no, <laughs> but the same thing. Give her her time. Yeah, I am. I am. Oh, but it, it is so beautiful. Now, Amaya, mm -hmm. do you use your lip gloss? Do you put lip gloss on your face? No. Oh, oh man. You... I, I put it on my lip. Okay, all right. Okay, so she uses what she sells. I think I think this interview is going to go all around the place. I I think yeah. Wait wait a minute. I th I think I'm going to skip some. Yeah, good good. Now wait a minute, Amaya. You just went to New Orleans, didn't you? Yeah. What did you do when you was there? I was I was doing my business. She was doing her business. Is that what she said? Yes. Oh, okay. Now, did you take business cards with you? He wants to show you her sticky notes, see? <laughs> oh, sticky. Oh, and that, now, what's the year old? Okay, and then the sticky notes are for what? To keep her focused. Oh, keep her focused, okay. Yeah. And so now, he asked me, did you take business cards in New Orleans? Yes. And what did you do with them? Did you give them out to everybody? Yes. Everybody, hey, right? Yes. Amaya, I saw your video and you was everywhere. And you, you ran out of business cards, didn't you? No. No? <laughs> Did you run out of business cards in New Orleans? You gave them out. I gave them out. Now, <laughs> now Olivia, she had to be the cutest thing down there. Oh, and they I know you, Huh? They loved her. I know. And you pimped her like real, real bad, real hard. <laughs> and that's good. Now, now Olivia, yeah. did you take product down there with you? Absolutely. So the, the main reason why we went down there was for her to um, give her products out. She was uh, she's going to be in a store down there. So the store is called Queen Earth Beauty and her products are going to be featured in that store. And so that was the main reason why we went down there. No, but so, so wait, so wait. <laughs> the, la the last time I saw you, you were doing you were giving away sweets at the Bridge Academy because you spoke there. I asked you to speak to all the kids there. Yes. And uh, you brought this. We're not going to say what the name of your treats are. It's a family show right now. <laughs> but but how did this journey get started? And she's down there in a store in where? New Orleans. New Orleans, yes. And so the acronym of my business, we're not going to go there, but the name no. is Sweet Hit Eat. Yeah, there right. So, um, yeah, so she actually, I was in a very bad car accident on December 19, 2020. And so oh, it left me in the hospital for close to maybe two months, I had to learn how to walk again. I had a huge hole in my knee. Oh. Well, my, my knee was like, yeah, it, it was bad. I had to get 19 staples. And so, you know, I spent Christmas, New Year's, uh, Valentine's Day, all in the hospital and I couldn't, you know, spend that with my daughter, right? Mm -hmm. So just, you know, me already with my entrepreneurial mindset, I just, I, I had to do, like, not being able to spend time with her did something to me. Okay. And so I wasn't able to take care of her. I wasn't working anything. And so oh. it was bad. It was bad. But listen, I had my life, so I'm thankful. Thank, thank God for that. Um, and so I just wanted to put her in a position that if I wasn't able to take care of her again, she'll have her own income. She'll be able to take care of herself. Oh, good stuff. Before, before, before we go, hey, David L. Phillips is checking in. David, I'm wishing you a happy anniversary. Go to my, uh, my mid midday show because I gave you a special tribute in regards to your 10-year anniversary. Khalees McGivney is checking in. Khalees McGivney has a daughter who's going to be in the Olympics soon. So I'm looking forward to that. David says, shout out to the Queens. Iris Holmes is watching. Iris, top of the evening to you. Oh, you know, Iris, you know, y'all go back like car seats. Uh, but wait a minute. Okay. So now you, you're out the hospital. Where does the idea of lip gloss, LLCs, and all that stuff come into play? Walk us through this journey. So since she was, I can remember, she's been addicted to lip gloss. Like we went to Hawaii for her second birthday. She didn't care about anything but her lip gloss. Mm. Hawaii is so beautiful. Like we were on canoes. Where's, where's Amaya putting on lip gloss? And so the, the idea for the LOC 
um, was really what she's obsessed with. Uh -huh. So it, I, her her obsession with lip gloss turned into her LLC. Wow. So so all right. So so where did it start? Now, okay, you you you're creating your own lip gloss, or or how does this work? Uh, are you creating it from scratch, or you have a a, a supplier? How, how's this work? You you create your own lip gloss. <laughs> yeah, so we create it from scratch. Um, we buy the uh, lip gloss base, which is just a, a, called Versa Gel. And then she has fun different mixing different pigments, the glitters, and different natural oils to go inside the lip gloss. Hey, Amaya, mm -hmm. did you like New Orleans? Yes. Yeah. You look like you were having fun. Thank you. You was with this guy playing like you was walking a dog. No. No. <laughs> she was with that mime. I don't. I don't. I don't know. If she knows the word what mime is, but so I'm trying to. I'm trying to bring back the memories of that. Uh, hey. And and y'all y'all need to go on my page or go on Olivia Lewis's page so you can see some of the videos that Amaya has taken on her travels. Man, she is amazing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, Nelson Ojeda said Puerto Rico, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, California, Texas, Florida, South Carolina, Washington is in the house. And Nelson, he's, he streams stuff all over. That's wow. who he is, Nelson Ojeda, my man. Originally Oak Street. All right, come on now, let me see what else, what else. All right, now, what other what other products do you, do you, do you sell? What is this? It's a home with that is? My holographic hair gel. It's hair gel. What is it called? Holographic hair gel. I kind of can't hear. Holographic hair gel. The holographic. I thought that's what she said. Is she three years old? What you know about the word holographic? Listen, like she bring Tupac <laughs> back or something. Come on, <laughs> y'all. See, that's what I'm talking. You know, I'm liking this. Boy, y'all crazy too. Mm. And 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 hair gel. <laughs> You also know. Okay. All right. Now, Olivia, did you come up with a plan because it's like, or you kind of had an idea what you was going to do and how um, you're going to do this thing? So thing? when I first got her LLC, I did not have a plan or anything. I just, I just knew I wanted her to be financially stable. Um, mm -hmm. And so continuing on with it, um, just being on different social media platforms, we utilize Clubhouse. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. Um, but she's, she's able to network with different people. And so whenever they have events or something like that, and they invite her to be a part of it, that's an opportunity for her to travel. And honestly, it's just, you know, it, going to, along with the business plan and the marketing plan and just to get her stuff out there. You, you know what? I like what you just said. <laughs> you said you didn't have it all together. You just knew you had to take a step and, and things would come as, as you go. That's it. Absolutely. Just get that started. That's one of the main things that stop most entrepreneurs is the fact that they're so scared that they want to have it all together to such an extent that they never start. No, get started. <laughs> they never start. Get started. You'll figure it out as you go. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, man. I ain't mad at you. I like that spirit. Nelson O'Hate him. He forgot a state. He he just checked in and said, and Delaware is watching as well. Nice. Nelson, thank you, man. You are my PR man. Okay, 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 okay. Now that's good. I'm so glad that you're on here because it's good to know that somebody else starts without having it all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, so now, Olivia, what is it like to be the mother of almost the world's youngest entrepreneur? She's making you famous. Oh, um, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, it's a it's a blessing, honestly. I get to travel with her. Like she's the reason I get to travel, honestly. And mm -hmm. so that's that's the number one thing about it. The whole famous aspect of it, that's that really doesn't mean anything to us. I, I'm more focused on having her financially stable. And so yeah. once we get financially stable, that's that's what's gonna make us feel famous, is it be, you know, having that stability. So so what's what's a day like uh, like like with y'all too? Because she doesn't go to school right. and or you probably still got a hole in your leg. Are you back to work yet? Not back to work yet. I'm still just doing my business full time. All right. So, 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 what's a day like? Y'all brainstorm and make stuff. What y'all be doing? Um, a day like for us, you wake up, 
you know, you know, we get our day started and then is she's focused on her lip gloss. We try to uh, keep up with any type of, you know, music or anything that's viral or top songs and stuff like that and mm -hmm. see how we can incorporate her into those Mommy. songs. Yes, Mommy. baby. Now, let me ask you about Clubhouse. Clubhouse, is that good for an adult who has has a business or anything to a... Uh... She is on Clubhouse. Yeah, so, but is, is Clubhouse yeah. geared towards a younger... It, it's factor? geared towards adults. But okay. it, literally, um, it, it's a more of a, a platform for small business people to be able to get in touch and have conversations with... Uh, you know, either bigger stars or bigger entrepreneurs, people that have larger platforms. Wow. Wow. Yeah. What, all right. So now what was, what was her most fa favorite thing to do when she was in New Orleans? What, you, what was your favorite, the best thing that she had fun? What is that? Going rock climbing. Going rock climbing. The who? Rock climbing. Whoa, <laughs> with a harness on and all that stuff? No. Just, just climb a rock. Climb a rock. And so it's actually called bouldering um, uh -huh. without a harness, but it's, um, it's, it's just like rock climbing, but there's no harness and the floor is very soft underneath. So okay. it's like, it's like a, a foam floor. Oh man, she's going to be like a well-rounded young lady, man, because she's experiencing stuff that most adults don't experience, man. That That is beautiful that you're pouring into her like that. But then your head has always been out there in regards to entrepreneurship and stuff like that. Hey, Donald Anderson has checked in, Don. It's good to see you this evening, man. Right now, I got the world's uh, youngest entrepreneur. She has her own LLC. The name of her LLC, if I'm not mistaken, is Wait a minute, maybe I should ask y'all that. What is the name of your LLC? What's your business? My name is Emmanuel Williams. And what's your business name? I said Look God. Where can everybody find you? Kissfindtheworld.com. And what's the name of your business? I said Look God. What's the name of your business? Kiss? Kissfindtheworld.com. Kissbynoel.com. It is kissbynoel.com. I'm telling you, don't let the smooth taste fool you. She'll sell a cripple crab or crutch. She ain't playing. She ain't no joke. Look at them too. Look at them smiling like that. Oh, but I'm about ready to buy some lip gloss. And I ain't got no lips. All right. Now, let me see. So we, we had fun. We found out what was the most favorite thing. And we found out what the purpose was. Now, how many, how many, how many places have you guys been to? Uh, we've been to New Orleans, Hawaii. Thank you. This is <laughs> the benefit of being a, her mom. A practical demonstration, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. of Kiss by Noel lip gloss. And and this is how you're supposed to apply it. She's showing you right now. Good show, Amaya. That's right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She's a ham. I like it. I love it. And she's blowing kisses now. That's why she took New Orleans by storm. Okay. So she's been in New Orleans, Hawaii, Hawaii. Um, Atlanta. That's that's all that she's been to bus for business right now. Okay. We've been to some other places, but that was personal travel. But uh, on the first week of April, we're also going to North Carolina for business. There's going to be a pop up shop down there that she's going to be reaching her products in. Well, and and guess what? That pop up shop. I was going to have that as the background until I saw this picture, because <laughs> I saved the one for April the first. When I saw this picture, I said, no, this is the one. Hey, Cass Rowland just checked in. If you don't know who Cass Rowland is, Olivia, I want you to know because the next time you want to put some barbecue sauce on anything, your eggs, your hamburgers, Cass Rowland lives in Thorndale, and okay. he's the creator of something called Big Boy's Barbecue Sauce. That sounds amazing. It is slamming. Wait a minute. It, it, yeah, man, baby rays don't get nowhere near my house. Really? No, man. Are you kidding? Well, I, I listen, you just put me on something new, hey. so... It's in the giant, is it? Well, Cass probably will put it in the, uh, in the comment section. He's in about 50, 60 stores. Nice. He's in everything. Grocery stores, hardware stores, wherever there's people, his barbecue sauce is sitting up on the counter. That's the giant, nice. I don't know if it's the Acme, but it, Walmart, he's in all them stores. He'd be, he's like you. He'd be hustling. He'd be, he'd be, he'd be in Walmart singing and, and, and with his barbecue sauce, his tray putting samples on people. There you go. He's in it to win it. That's why I love that brother. Plus, he's a strong Christian brother too, boy. 
he keep me out of trouble sometimes because he give me scriptures right when I want to say something real stupid to somebody. But but anyway, okay. So now let's talk about you. Let's talk about your previous venture. Because are you still doing the sweets? I'm still doing my desserts. I offer the best, the most elite desserts that you can find. And so my business is Sweet Hit Eats. And you can mm -hmm. find that on Instagram. My website is sweethiteats.com. And I actually started that in college. It, it is, it's, it's ironic that it's kind of started the same way this started. It, you know, I was in a bad spot. Right. You know, kind of, my mom was putting myself through college. My brother, she was taking care of my grandparents at the time that, that were very sick. Um, and so I, I needed something to have to keep me in college, right? And I didn't right. want to. I, I didn't want to leave college, so boom, I started selling cupcakes to my roommates, word spread from them to staff members, faculty staff, and it actually got really big where I was able to transfer to Penn State, Maine, and, you know, still gain a lot of support up there as well. President Barron, the president of Penn State University, actually got some cupcakes as well, which is a, a big highlight for me. Oh, man, I remember when you went off to college. Well, you know, I've been knowing you for 100 years, right? Yes. You're really, you're really special. Maybe smaller. <laughs> yeah, man, you are so stupid. <laughs> but you dumb because you ain't scared. See, you ain't got no fear. And if you do have fear, you don't let it stop you. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's what life is about. You know, because we're going, we're going to be afraid sometimes. But it's all about taking that step anyway. Absolutely. Because there's a man named James Canfield who wrote this he said everything you want is on the other side of fear absolutely so that that's how i wrote right now right now i got a laser machine in my in one of my bedrooms and i'm lasering stuff learning as i go man and you know and god is blessing me now let me see now and so you already answered that uh with the, with the treats now you're going to you're going to continue with your treats and everything right oh absolutely absolutely i just had a valentine's day sale and we're um, going to have a Mother's Day, a very nice Mother's Day uh, offerings as well. So stay tuned for that. You don't hey. you got, trust me. You don't want to miss the Mother's Day offering. Well, look, always feel free. Feel free to uh, post some of that stuff on my page. You're still in. Well, it doesn't even matter if you're not in Coastville. Just look me up and say, "Fine, look, bam, put it on it." Everybody else advertises on it. Trust me. <laughs> OIC, the city, everybody uses my page. Uh, Linda Lavender Norris, you know we were talking about you today, child. It's good to see you, uh, and my condolences, Linda. Andrew Finkboner, uh, this she possibly may be coming into the Coastal Area School District. I don't know. I haven't talked to her mother. Uh, you used to go. You went to school in the Coastal Area School District, didn't you, Olivia? Yes. Andrew yeah. Finkboner is on the school board, and Andrew, this is one of America's youngest entrepreneurs right here, Amaya. Noelle Young, she's three years old, just freshly back from New Orleans. She took New Orleans by storm with her kiss by Noelle. <laughs> Lip gloss, I love her in the background. I love it. And uh, that is a beautiful thing. Linda said, congratulations, Linda Lavender. She, she's, our, she's our president, president. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, where am I at, man? This, this, oh, man, it's like, it's so crazy. Uh -uh. I, I got so much. Yeah, let me ask you, Olivia, because you keep talking about finances. So when are you are you teaching her now about finances? How are you going to bring her into this realm? Yeah, so she already has this uh, bank account, which is a savings account and also a business account um, for her business. So we teach her about finances now. She knows how to save her money. We're working on her identifying what bills are, you know, which bills, this is a dollar bill, mm -hmm. $20 bill and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. She has to know that. Man, this is crazy. This is, this is going straight on my YouTube page. You know that. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, look, three, I, my head, my head is making my head hurt. All right, let me see. Let me see what else, what else, what else. Now, now will you, do you see yourself combining your business or you always want to keep it separate? Your sweet treats and her lip gloss or do you see a way that you guys can collaborate and uh, profit off of both of your entities? Right, so I think that we can collaborate, but I'm definitely going to keep them separate, two separate entities, right? Okay. So a way we can collaborate is for her birthday. I'm actually thinking about doing a birthday party slash pop-up shop for her. And so mm -hmm. if we do do that, then I'll, you know, provide the treats, but I am going to see if she's willing to do a, like a red velvet or a, a dessert flavor chapstick that I can be able to give my customers mm -hmm. like little 
promotional thank you for your support type of thing. Hey, look, anybody that's on on on, on this uh <laughs> on this interview, first thing I want to do, Barbara Washington, how are you? First thing I want you to do is I want you to share this because this needs to be bigger than just us that's on here tonight. It's Friday night. And second of all, if y'all need some sweet treats, y'all need to taste what Olivia makes. I have. I have. Matter of fact, the whole Bridge Academy has. We, she came down on team night. <laughs> we ate all the treats. <laughs> and uh, it was fantastic. It's unforgettable. So if y'all need something, look. if they wanted to look you up in regards to your treats, what would they do, Olivia? They'd go to Instagram or my website, and that's Sweet Hit Eats, S-W-E-E-T-H-I-T uh -huh. underscore Eats, E-A-T-S. Yeah, or, and if you... Or an easier way, if you have any questions, you can text me. My number is 475-EAT-CAPE. Short and sweet. Wow, that is too, that is too amazing, too amazing. So let, let me ask you, is there anything that you would like to share with aspiring entrepreneurs or anything in regards to what it is you're doing and, and maybe to help people that, that are viewing right now? Um, just get started, just get started. That's the very first thing. And definitely know that failure is gonna be a part of the process uh, uh, it may look like for whatever the venture is that you're taking on, but embrace it because failure, it helps you grow. It builds you, right? And so you're not going to know the value of success if you don't fail. Yeah. So you yeah. Start it and, and don't feel failure. Don't fear failure. Mm. And if you fail, fail, always fail forward. And, right. And get back up. Try it again. You know what works. You don't know. You know what works and what doesn't work. So keep going. Olivia, I was just talking about that because I've been attempting to engrave a photo on either glass or wood. And I've, I've been failing for <laughs> forever. And my computer is right in my bedroom. So what happens is I'm up at four o'clock, five o'clock failing in the morning. Right. My wife gets up at like five and I'm still up, still working on my failures, right? But but I finally got it. And it, uh, I'm blessing some families right now that's going through some things and uh, you said a mouthful. You really, really have. So if there's any viewers out here that have thought about entrepreneurship, man, embrace it, man. Embrace the failures, man, and make that thing happen. Seriously. You fall down seven, you get up eight. That's all. Hey, Amaya, Amaya. So Amaya, what's your favorite music? Do you have any? Mm -hmm. Baby Shark? Yeah, Baby Shark. What she say? Coco Melon and Mickey Mouse too. Look, Coco Melon's on in my house. The same Coco Melon. Yeah, all day. All day. And it, it keeps me stuck. Stuck. Yeah, to yeah. And there, there must be some psychology because yeah. it took some some brainiacs to figure out. Just, ladies and gentlemen, you're getting another. You're, they're actually, listen, they're actually getting a preview wow. of a tube that we haven't even released yet. Late breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. This is a debut of a product that hasn't even hit the market. Y'all pay attention. And she's showing you how to apply it. Okay, Amaya, make sure you get mommy. Uh, you, you got her? And so this is actually a part of the queen collection. These are the princess tubes, right? Uh -huh. So this is the queen collection. Um, it's a little bit bigger than this tube, I'm getting the camera and show you. Mm -hmm. And then it also comes with a detachable, the crown tiara yeah. is a detachable comb. I don't know if you can see that very well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can either, you know, use that, like she was just doing to help me fix my eyebrows. Yeah. Get to fix your edges on the go. Oh, and if you got a mustache, you can do your mustache now. There you then. go. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are amazing. The dynamic duo, they even dressed the light tonight for the show. Hey, Amaya, Amaya, you want to say anything to your fans? Thank you. Oh, man. She's three years old and she knew to say thank you, man. Hey, look, the world, the world might as well get ready because you got something coming. You got something on your hands right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's such a sweetheart. Hey, look, I'm not going to hold y'all long because you answered the question so quickly. Let me see, do I have anything left that I want to? Uh, you already gave me parting words and everything. 
I can get ready to go eat dinner. Is there anything else you want to share before we go? Picture product, inspiration, education, anything. Um, if I can promote my other business real quick, sure. so, take job. so uh, diving into real estate and I just purchased a house in Coatesville. So if you're looking to sell houses, um, any condition, no questions asked, no questions asked, please contact me ASAP. And that's my choice royalty. You are buying homes too. Yes, sir. I, I told you, listen, I've been in position before where I couldn't take care of myself, let alone my child. I'm not huh? playing no more. I can't. You got to eat. She has to eat. Oh, uh, she doesn't got that. She's serious. Y'all need to back up off a sister because she <laughs> ain't playing because you see what <laughs> how she's working this thing. Hey, right. look, I want to thank you for allowing me to come into your living room and just spend some time with y'all. Yes, uh, and look, and I was excited, and you you guys really, really did it for me. I appreciate you. I appreciate all my viewers out there. Don't forget to share this. Amaya. Olivia, I want y'all to have a great night. And Coatesville, I just want y'all to remember this thing, man, that Coatesville's rising and that God is fantastic, man. He is working in our community. So uh, y'all just stay up, have a great day, and talk to you soon. Peace out. Bye-bye, Amaya. Bye -bye, Amaya. Peace See you out. Later. Oh.